Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and today is July 3rd, 2022. It's time for a Houston Dynamo match. They're taking on Charlotte FC, and uh, I'm down here pretty early. The game isn't until 7.30, but I'm down here. And right now it's 4.40, and the Astros just won. Jeremy Pena had a two-run homer to uh, walk off win and sweep the Angels. You know, I'm an Astros fan and a Dynamo fan and a Dash fan and a Dynamo 2 fan. I hold it down for all the Houston sports teams. But parking is a little crazy down here when the Astros are playing at the same time. So I think this is my new spot. It's a nice, it's a nice walk through here. I'm enjoying nature. But we're going to pitch 25 for the pregame. The Surge always pregames at pitch 25, and we always say everyone is welcome. Today, the Texian Army is going to join us because the Astros are playing and those lots are being used, and the Texian Army always tailgates in the parking lot. So they're going to join us at pitch 25, and there's a rumor that a certain player might show up. I haven't met this guy yet. Most of the people in the Surge have, but I haven't gone out of my way to meet one player because I can believe I believe in the club more than one player but it'll still be cool to meet them if they are here so come and join me on today's vlog of the most epic adventures let's go in there's Malcolm Texian army guys hanging out in the air conditioning with the couches <laughs> so they are here we always hang out in the back where there is no air conditioning, but it's kind of want to get, give you guys. All right, I just saw a Charlotte fan. There's some more Charlotte fans there. Sebastian, What's up? you live in Dallas now, but you're from North Kakalaki. You're here supporting your Charlotte FC in their first season. What are your What are your predictions of this match? So optimistically, I'm hoping for one nil to Charlotte. Really hoping it makes the drive worth it. Uh, but honestly, I'm thinking it might be 1-1 one, one at the end of the day. Um, we've had a tough time scoring goals. I know our expected goals are like one for the season, so it could be a tough game. It could be a tough game, but I'm just happy to see it finally in person. So. All right. Some happy Astros fans. Go Strohs! Let's talk to, some, yeah, talk to some Charlotte FC fans. Nice enough, folks. Nice enough, folks. But we got... Uh, Got the guy with the Hector Herrera jersey already. He's he's not playing today. He's playing next week. <laughs> Everybody lining up. They're lining up for the bar in here, but I don't know if they know they can go out here, and and there's nobody there's nobody in line out here. So this is this is where to go. You don't want to wait in a long line for a drink come out here look at this and there are a lot less people out here because it is it's muggy see look at this there's no line there's no drink line let's come out here where it's a little soupy uh -oh. what's up with these guys hey what's guys. up guys Hello. how's it going buddy are you holding it down oh yeah buddy hector herrera purchased this beer did he really yes there's a bunch over there you should get some i don't drink but oh, well. i drink water hey Stay hydrated. Hydrate. Enjoy That's nature. Right. Watch rubs up. Hey, yeah. look, it's Hector Herrera's best friends. <laughs> you got his first. You were like, as soon as he was off the plane, you were like, sign this jersey. Is it that one? Are you wearing it? No, no, no. no we don't wear the signed jersey. You don't wear the signed jersey. Hector Herrera's not coming, but he did buy beers for us. The last Hector Herrera beer. Michelob it's Ultra. Drink. Again, I'm drinking water. We all drinking waters. Five buckets from Hector Herrera. Thank you, sir. We love you. Bring it to Houston, bro. Bring the heat. Free Heineken there, Jeff. That's all for you. <laughs> all right, we're leaving pitch 25, heading into the game. It's a few minutes before seven. Get here a little early. Get my orange rewards points. Pick up a couple of things that I've turned in my points for. Absolutely free. Aww, it's okay. Let's go into the hospital gate. 
this guy, son. It's 50 50 tickets. What's up, Rob Zip? How we doing? All right, all right. Welcome to the city of fireworks. Houston Dynamo versus Charlotte Football Club. That's the game today. Kroger gave us these Dynamo cooling towels. You're supposed to get them wet, You're supposed to activate it. Youth Academy, to sign up for. So here you have the main entrance. Salvador in his national team history. So, Fran Jersey. Once again, congratulations, Darwin, on this incredible achievement. tunnel I signed up for it but I completely forgot about it because I did it the other day so I'm not gonna have rally tunnel footage for you today because I forgot sorry guys so we got Orion from the Sugarland Space Cowboys gonna push the button yeah. Corners in, punches it up, 
rebound, bounced out. Come on, there we go. She came off the corner. We lost it. Well, we just gave up an own goal. Veta, I think it was on Veta. I don't know, unless they were saying it's something all sides or something. No, they're all giving each other congratulations. So. so, own goal. The 28th minute. Sucks. And in the 31st minute, we've got a water break. It's not as hot as it has been. Because it's 91 degrees. So there's a nice little breeze, but I think anything above 80, I think they are allowed to take water breaks. All right, so... All right, Dynamo have a corner kick here. 38th minute, see if they can equalize, and they took the short corner as they like to do. Makes it easier to send it in to the box. Oh. Alright, we've got a free kick. Free kick from outside the box. It's almost almost a corner here. And then straight to the keeper. These two 69ers right here. Alright, that's the end of the half. We're down one to nothing thanks to an own goal. We've had a lot of shots, nine shots, uh, but their goalkeeper's done good, their defense has been good. So what can you do? Hopefully, hopefully get them in the second half. And we will be attacking on this end. Alright, 
Dubbis is coming out. Fafa Pico is going in. We got uh, Tyler Pasher coming in. We got a few changes. So Thor, Thor's moving up. Fafa Pico is coming in in the wing. We got Tyler Pasher coming in in the wing. We got Charlotte making some changes here on the 61st minute. Hopefully, uh, some fresh energy. Come on, guys. Score here, I can feel it. I can feel it. Well, not if we not if we do that. Alright. Well, Charlotte just scored on the run of play. No own goal there. That was a legit goal. 70, uh, 74th minute. Yikes. So what do you think of Aveta? How he's played today? Uh, I don't know. He's usually more aggressive. He's a hothead. Uh, I don't know, man. Is HH going to take his place, though? He has to. Maybe he's mad. Maybe he's playing poorly today because he knows his job is done. I don't know about Clark, though. Clark? He seems not in it. He hasn't been in it since partner. Maybe he misses misses playing there. I don't know. He gave him that goal. I don't know if you saw that. He did, it looked like he gave him that first goal. Yeah. It's weird, some weirdness going on. It's a heat. They're, they're just back from the water break. Yeah. Here we go. Are we going to score? Are we going to at least get one goal? One. At least one. We're going to get one. Take anything away from them, man. It's like they've been at the right spot. They're not playing like an expansion team for sure. And they got a corner. He wasn't. He wasn't. 
That's it. That's it. That's the game. Dynamo lose two to one to expansion Charlotte FC. At least we got that one goal. Yeah, yeah. That's disappointing to lose at home to an expansion team in front of uh, the, probably the best crowd we've had all season. Yeah, it was way more packed today. The best crowd we've had all season. So. Next week, I hope it's way more packed. Next, yeah. I hope so. So, Jose, what do you think, man? I need to pressure more towards the end, man. They're so acting like they're winning. Hashtag walking. See a bunch of sad fans. You got a happy Charlotte fan there. This is what it's like after a uh, Dynamo home loss. It's kind of somber. People are. We got to clear this area because they're going to be doing fireworks over here. So. Not that dude's still happy. Actually, I thought Vuvuzelos were banned here. Well, he brought it in. Good for him. Hashtag walking. They're doing some fireworks. I'm not into it. So, I'm gonna just make my way out of the stadium. That kid's pit vipers. <laughs> You always see interesting fans, interesting jerseys. This is, you know, 2022, so it'll be cool to look back on this in a few years. See the different different things people are wearing now. This kid with the motorhead, motorhead hat, that's awesome. You got this dude with the Metallica Kill 'em All shirt over here. So Keeping it metal. Keeping it metal here at PNC Stadium. All right, guys, that's it. We're leaving the stadium. Uh, not sticking around for the fireworks. Maybe we'll see them from the distance when I get to my car, but whew. next Saturday, Dynamo are taking on FC Dallas. It's gonna be Hector Herrera's debut. So I was talking to some kids that was some, some subscribers, and uh, we all agreed that Vera, he didn't, he didn't belong out there. So, no, no, I do not, I do not. So, next, next Saturday, Ache Ache debuts. This, this is going to be a, a packed stadium. Tonight was a really good crowd. But until then, remember to drink water, listen to metal. Oh, wait, before you get to that. Uh, tomorrow is 4th of July, so be safe out there. Don't blow up your hands or anything. Okay. That being said, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventure!